Good morning, boys and girls. Happy Thoughtful Thursday. Welcome to today's math lesson. There's going to be two math videos today. Um, it was too big to make into one video. So today, to start off for math, we know we are talking all about Linus the minus and how Linus the minus is taking things away from us. So we have a whole group and then Linus comes in the middle and takes away the next number. So to start us off today, I thought it'd be fun to read um, a read aloud story if you were a minus sign. And I know you're probably thinking in your head, Mrs. Dironi, we already read this book. But we didn't. We read if you were a plus sign with Gus the plus. Now we're reading his partner book, The Opposite, about Linus the minus. So let's see what it'd be like if you were a plus, uh, not a plus, if you were a minus sign. Written by Trisha Speed Shaskin and illustrated by Francesca Carabelli. Let's see what kind of things Linus is going to take away. If you were a minus sign, you would subtract one number from another. Hugo has 12 balloons. A bird comes and bursts six of Hugo's balloons. Hugo has six balloons left because 12 minus six equals six. If you were a minus sign, you would be a symbol that is used to show subtraction. You would be part of a subtraction problem. Starry-eyed Stella's daisy has nine petals. Stella plucks eight petals from it. Stella's daisy now has one petal left. Nine minus eight equals one. If you were a minus sign, you would be used in place of the words take away. Mama Chipmunk finds 12 acorns. She takes away five to hide. 12 take away five equals seven. Seven acorns are left. Papa Chipmunk finds seven acorns. He takes away five to hide. Seven take away five is two. Two acorns now left. If you were a minus sign, you would help show a difference in a subtraction problem. There are 10 bowling ball pins. When Bruno knocks them down, he knocks down four of them. Six bowling pins are left standing because the difference between 10 and four is six. 10 minus four equals six. If you were a minus sign, you could work from left to right or top to bottom. Patty fries up seven burgers. She puts five of them on the plate. Two are left in the pan because seven minus five equals two. Patty stacks up seven burgers. She serves two and has five left because seven minus two equals five. If you were a minus sign, you could help solve a story problem. Sandy blew 11 bubbles. Gil came and popped four of them. How many bubbles were left? 11 minus four equals seven. Seven bubbles left. If you were a minus sign, you could subtract small numbers. There are nine glasses of fruit punch on the table. Three thirsty tigers come and take three glasses away. Now there are six glasses left because nine minus three equals six. There are 24 pieces of pizza. Some hungry, hungry hippos come and take 10 pieces away. Now there are 14 pieces left. But if you can subtract small numbers, you could also subtract big numbers if you were a minus sign. There were 120 cupcakes on a cupcake tree. Some lunching lizards came and took 100 cupcakes away. Now there are 20 cupcakes left. 120 minus 100 equals 20. Oh, here's a big one. Mama and Papa Pop Belly Pig are popping 150 pieces of corn. The Pop Belly Pig family eats 1,000 pieces of popcorn. Now there are 500 pieces left because 1,500 minus 1,000 equals 500. Huge number. If you were a minus sign, you would be part of a subtraction problem. You could also use addition to help check your answer to make sure you got it right. Jack pulls seven doves out of his hat. He makes five doves disappear. Now Jack is left with two doves. Seven minus five equals two. If you checked your answer using addition, you could add the five birds to the two that disappeared, and you would end up with seven, the same number you had in the beginning. So Jack, like in Treehouse. You would always subtract one number from another if you were a minus sign.
So we talked about strategies we can use. Here's one on the bottom here using a number line. Remember, you can also use your fingers. You can use mental math in your head, like remembering doubles. You can use counters. So I'm actually going to show you in the next video a couple of different ways to do subtraction using different strategies. So hopefully they can help you today during your lessons. I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye.